these two photos are the most important career defining photos for you if you are a coder whether you will have a job or not in the next 3 to 5 years depends on whether you can understand these two photos or not these photos are from the same place same day but 13 years apart easter sunday on 5th avenue in new york city in 1900 can you spot the car there it is one car drowning in a sea of horses and carriages this was the norm horses had been humanity's transport solution for thousands of years now look at 1913 try to spot the horses it's almost impossible to find one in just 13 years less than it takes a child to finish school an entire industry vanished think about it 13 years now imagine interviewing one of the horses from this 1900 pick what would it say sure cars are faster they don't need rest they don't need food they are more reliable but come on there is a certain class to horse carriages the tradition the elegance humans have relied on us for millennia we are irreplaceable besides those cars break down they need special fuel they are noisy they will never fully replace us maybe for some specific routes but wholesale replacement never in 1900 the horse was laughing 13 years later that horse was unemployed and if you are a coder watching this in 2025 you might be looking at your own future not in 13 years but in 3 Here's what I hear from coders today and from coding influencers with millions of followers. AI is just a tool. Real engineering requires human creativity. Learn DSA and system design. AI can't replace fundamental thinking. And my favorite, a viral LinkedIn post saying AI makes bugs, humans fix them. We are safe. You know who else thought they were safe? Every horse on 5th Avenue in 1900. These influencers are selling you comfort while the world burns around you. They are peddling you business as usual because that's what gets views. That's what sells courses. Some of the tech or coding influencers have spent 5-10 years building their channels from scratch with hard work. Thinking all that hard work is about to vanish in thin air is pretty damn scary. They say your job is safe because that's what keeps their ears of hard work safe and that's what makes you feel safe. But feeling safe and being safe are two different things. I will give you a timeline. Here's what those influencers won't tell you. Look at this acceleration. 2021 GitHub Copilot launches. People said it can only do simple auto complete, just a fancy intelligence. 2022 Copilot gets smarter. Then people said, "Okay, it can write functions, but they are buggy. It doesn't understand context." 2023, ChatGPT enters the scene. Fine, it can write small programs, but it can't handle complex architectures. Early 2024, GPT-4 and Cloud-3 came. People said, "Sure, it can build full application, but it can't debug its own code." Late 2024, Cloud-3.5 and Oven models came. People said, "All right, it can debug and refactor, but it can't understand legacy code bases." Today, in 2025, we have models like GPT-5, Cloud Opus 4.1, and Grok 4. AI agents are literally passing Google's coding interviews. They are contributing to open source, and they are finding and fixing decades-old bugs in critical systems. Every excuse has an expiration date. and that date keeps arriving faster than expected 12 months ago ai could not center a div properly today it's building entire saas products the founders shipping this are not even developers they are just people with ideas and ai agents right now while you are watching this solo founders are shipping profitable apps using only cursor and cloud vo is generating ui that designers can't distinguish from human work 
Bold dot new is deploying complete apps in under five minutes. Tech companies are building majority of new features with AI assistance. Amazon Q is upgrading thousands of enterprise Java applications. But what about production level complexity? Stop, just stop. Stop hiding behind these excuses. Yes, AI isn't production ready for complex scenarios yet. That yet is the keyword here. It will be ready sooner than you think. And you will be left searching for a new excuse and a new job. Just think, why our junior dev positions are disappearing while AI subscriptions are skyrocketing? Think about it. The brutal math is a junior developer would cost $80,000 a year. AI subscription, $200 a month. That's a 95% cost reduction. Which would you choose as a CEO? Check Twitter any day. Built a 10K per month SaaS this weekend, 100% AI. The replies are always the same. It won't scale. Meanwhile, they are banking profits while you are banking on limitations. Every limitation you are banking on, counting on, is just another item on the AI's checklist. Business requirement, already improving. Microservices, months away. Hardware optimization, it's learning. Your comfort zone isn't safe, it's a countdown and the timer started two years ago. But wait, there's another layer to this story that's even more important. Look at both pictures again, count the vehicles. The 1900 image has dozens of carriages, the 1913 image has dozens of cars. Same number of jobs, right? We still need drivers. Wrong. Dead wrong. Same number of drivers, same number of jobs but not the same people. The horse carriage drivers from 1900, most of them never became car drivers. They did not adapt. They did not learn. They believed their skill would always be valuable. Only a handful, maybe 5-10% saw the change coming and learned to drive cars. The rest became irrelevant. This is exactly what's happening with AI and coding right now. Yes, we'll still need people working with technology. Yes, there will still be drivers in the new world, but they won't be traditional coders. They will be AI orchestrators, prompt engineers, system architects who work with AI, not despite it. And here's the kicker. Unlike in 1900, it won't be a gradual transition. It will not take 13 years. It will be a sudden flip, much faster. One day you are essential, the next day you are explaining to your kids why you did not see it coming. So you have two choices. Choice one, be the horse, insist you are irreplaceable, point out AI's flaws, cling to the tradition and wait for the world to realize it needs you. Spoiler alert, the world moved on without the horses. Choice two, be the carriage driver who learned to drive a car. Start now, learn AI alignment, prompt engineering, I mean real prompt engineering, AI safety, master AI tools, Become someone who conducts the orchestra of AI agents rather than playing a single instrument. Okay, enough of lecture. What exactly should you learn? Here's the thing. It's not about learning to code better. It's about becoming something entirely new. The AI orchestrator. Instead of writing code, you are orchestrating dozens of AI agents. If you can imagine an orchestra, you will be conducting an orchestra of AI agents. Think Replit agents, Devin, Cursor, all working in parallel while you directing the symphony. The companies already doing this are shipping 10 times faster than their competitors. Business to AI translators, converting human needs into AI executable strategies. AI validation specialists, not debugging code but debugging AI reasoning. Some of the skills you need to know are Advanced prompt engineering, not just chat GPT basics. AI agent orchestration, understanding AI limitations and hallucination patterns, multimodal strategies, and AI human interface design. It's not a normal upgrade, but a complete paradigm shift. But it's too much to cover in this video. Watch out for the next one detailing exactly what these new AI proof roles for coders are what skills you need to develop, which tools you need to master to survive this AI wave. Remember, horses had 13 years, 
but AI isn't moving at horse and buggy speed. What took cars 13 years is happening in 3 with AI, or maybe even less. Co-pilot to GPT-5, 3 years. Toy assistant to junior developer replacement, 18 months. At this pace, by 2028, if you are still writing code the way you do today, you will be as relevant as a blacksmith at a Tesla factory. Don't be the horse of 1900, listening to other horses telling you everything is fine. Be the smart, careless driver who learned to drive, who learned to survive. The future doesn't ask for permissions, it just arrives. Make sure you are ready.